Kyle Dale was shot at a convenience store last Thursday. WFAA's Kevin Reese is just back from hearing from the family and their supporters. Kevin? Well, vigils and protests are being planned by that family, but today the family wanted to make their demands known. Portions of the body cameras and surveillance videos simply not enough for them. And while use of force experts have suggested that the shooting by a three-year DPD veteran may appear justified, the family instead sees a crime. As shown in the video police have released, Dallas police say they tackled Kyle Dale because they'd been chasing him earlier that night, feared he had a gun, and didn't want to give him a chance to run again. But 27 seconds into the struggle in video that police spotlighted, police say Dale raises a handgun near an officer's face, then throws the gun away. But one officer has already decided to open fire. He actively disarmed himself, and they shot him. It's not justified. That's criminal. Tuesday afternoon, the man's family with their attorney and Dallas activist Dominique Alexander demanded police release all of the unedited videos, any dash cam and helicopter videos that proved the chase happened, and demanded the officer who killed Dale be terminated and charged with a crime. You can't just take a, a child or guy like that away from us with no reasoning. I'm a black man. I just saw a black man be killed by the police. Right or wrong, there is an emotional piece to that. But the chairman of the Dallas Community Police Oversight Board, who met with Police Chief Eddie Garcia today, is asking the family and activists for patience as the Dallas County District Attorney's Office begins its investigation. We have to sit back and let the investigation happen. Time, money, nothing you can say, do, protest, nothing whatever uh, make me feel right about this. I'm going to forever deal with this until the day I die. The family tells us they will hold a candlelight vigil tonight at 7 o'clock in Glendale Park and a protest outside police headquarters tomorrow night at the same time. Meanwhile, Dallas police tell us today that additional videos will not be released as this criminal investigation by the district attorney's office is underway. Cynthia. All right. Our thanks to you, Kevin Reese.